Hi everybody, how are you doing? It's Janine in the Little Nun's room. It is the 21st of June, it is Sunday, it is the longest day. So what are you getting up to today with all of this time on your hands? I hope there's some lovely barbecues going on. We've just had a little bit of a lounge around in the lounge, socially distanced, because we can just about manage it in the lounge. So a little bit of a lazy Sunday today, which to be fair, I was up at four in the morning waiting for sunrise, for the solstice so so I've been up quite early so I thought I'd talk today about youthfulness so I know you're all wondering how does she manage to look so young how does she manage to keep so vibrant and so energetic even in the darkest days we've ever known <laughs> I know you're wondering that I know I know they're like how does she do it how does she do it well <laughs> I'll let you into a little secret so every so often I do a bit of a cleanse. Now this time last year I did a 30 day cleanse. I'm not going to mention the name of the company because I don't want to endorse it and I literally don't want to endorse it because I went through literally hell and back. Not saying it's not good, not saying it's not good but I don't want to endorse it. I don't know about the health benefits afterwards, I don't know, I'm not a doctor but I did this 30 day cleanse there we go it gives you a little clue and although at the end of it I didn't really I didn't particularly lose weight what I think it taught me and I wasn't even sure whether I was even looking for that but what, I, what it taught me was just a bit more about my relationship with food and I am a comfort eater but the thing with me is that I'm super passionate about cooking and I always have been in fact when I was young my mum and my mum honestly thought that I was either going to be a chef or an actor. She saw it. She's like those two things. They used to buy me cookery books all the time. So I used to literally read cookery books and just absolutely love them. And whenever I cooked or my, baked or whatever, it usually came out really well. So for a very long time, I've had this thing where I'm really passionate about um, chefs. Like I follow loads of different famous chefs online. Love watching cookery shows. It's just a real nurturing thing. But the other side of me, I've got this like gregarious kind of actor um extrovert character so last year for me what was really interesting was um i i ended up being completely beside myself james martin was doing his series at the time every saturday and it felt like torture to watch it um but basically what you do is you have like two two shakes as such and then you have a really healthy meal in the evening and then some snacks in between but it's like caffeine free sugar free um wheat free soya free for everything everything free i mean you literally cut like everything out in one go so yeah a little bit nuts but i'm not a woman if i'm not a woman of extremes i think people might know that about me by now so i did it i say beside myself came out the other side but what i think it ha helped me with psychologically was just my relationship with food so since then i haven't done another one because I think, I don't, I don't, well, living with people in my flat, I don't think they could take it again. <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't want to put them through it. I did consider it at the start of lockdown, to be honest with you. I did consider it because, because I thought if we can't get to the supermarket, it's actually easier to get these products and then just have your healthy things like fruit and vegetables that go along with it. It's actually, it would have been easier to do that. But I know now that I need my comforts and I needed my comfort during this time. But what I do from time to time is I use part of the process of that, which is to do some protein shakes. So I'm having one, I'm having one today. So um, I used to have two of these a day. Um, so protein powder, special protein powder that they send through to you. And then um, you kind of add extra additional things to it. Um, and then you have your meal in the evening, which I've now I've said, I'm sorry if I'm carrying, going on. But I do like to do this from time to time, so just for a couple of days. Um, or like today I'm just going to have one because I don't really think that we need as much food as we eat like three meals a day especially especially when you're just like working from home or like me I'm not doing my museum work so I'm not walking like 10,000 steps a day plus so you know why do we need so much energy um what you know but what we do need is really good nutrition so with these shakes what I really love about it is that they have this protein powder it's like a really nice one that I've got 
not the previous product but it's a really nice vegan one that I have and it's like a maca a chocolate um, maca flavor um but like kind of like raw cacao that kind of thing and then to this I've added spinach I've got nuts and seeds in there I've got some cashew nut butter and I had one other thing which I can't think of right now but I'll put I'll put the recipe in the description below but it's just a nice rest for the body so when you're eating like lots of different wheat um you know lots of wheat lots of carbs all of those things and you know to be fair we've we've needed it I've certainly needed it during during lockdown this has just given me just gives me a little bit of a break a little bit of a break from that and once you get into that routine of it, um, it, it just it's actually quite a nice thing to do. It just feels quite light, but you know that you're giving your body some really nice nutrition. Sometimes, like I said, I, I did it for three days a couple of weeks ago um, over a weekend. It did it did it, it definitely like tired me out, but just made me feel a little bit drained at the end of it. Um, which doesn't sound right, doesn't sound right, but there were other reasons for that too. So, so what I suggest, <laughs> am I promoting this? I don't know. But what, what I'm just saying is like from time to time to give your body a break, it might be a good idea to do a little cleanse, um, a juice cleanse. I haven't ever really done one of those. That That's even harsher than this, I think, because it's all like vitamins and not really any like protein. But this for me, it seems to work. And even after a couple of days of doing this, I do like I can see my eyes are more sparkly. I can see my skin is better. So it's just giving that body a rest. It doesn't need to digest all these like hardcore things three times a day, three, four times a day, plus snacks as well. It doesn't it really doesn't need it unless, of course, you're running marathons or you're, you know, down the gym and you're doing strenuous exercise, which at the moment I don't do so much. I've been doing long walks, but nothing like that. So um, so it's just a little little thing that I do to keep myself looking young and fresh. And so that people say, really, are you really that age? <laughs> keep them guessing folks keep them guessing so sending you loads of love and i if again if you like what you hear and please subscribe please follow on youtube igtv i am sending you massive amounts of love on this gorgeous solstice day it's getting nicer and nicer a bit a bit like um a bit cloudy a bit sun sunshiny but you know it's kind of a keeping you guessing day as well so sending you loads of love and here's to here's to a youthful future. Mwah.